Remember not to look up because it'll just look weird on the screen. So I'll just look at the uh, at the Kahoot game. Okay, it says we're live now. Um, so welcome to my channel, guys. Um, we have a, a special guest here, uh, Bob the Canadian. So I don't know if you were watching his live stream or not. I'm sure some of you, most of you probably are from his uh, his live stream. Uh, we're going to be playing a Kahoot game uh, that is uh, about his uh, live stream that he just did. So, uh, Bob, you want to say hi to everybody? Yeah, I just uh, hi to everybody who's here. It was a lot of fun teaching a, a little lesson about groceries. Um, I know that there's lots of videos on learning how about groceries in English, but I thought a detailed lesson would be uh, something that would go over well. So it was fun. Uh, and then it's fun to be over here on Sean's channel. So, Sean, thanks for inviting me over. Let's, right. uh, sounds like fun. Okay, so um, as I mentioned on your live stream, uh, I used to work for uh, Loblaws, so... Um, Loblaws is the, uh, the, it's one of the largest, I think it is the largest employer in Canada, um, from what I understand. Um, and, uh, basically they have the superstores, um, uh, are they, Independence also is superstore, is, uh, Loblaw. There's a few other ones, I'm not, there's nothing coming to mind right now. Um, oh, we got someone in the Kahoot game already. Oh, because it's on the screen, yeah, the Kahoot pin. Oh, there we go, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was wondering how they got in there, but uh, yeah, it's on, it's on the screen. So um, a lot of uh, a lot of you might not realize how the food actually gets to these grocery stores. So uh, with six years of experience working at a distribution center, a warehouse, uh, I'm going to be making a video soon, probably within the next week or so, um, an English lesson about the distribution and supply chain of uh of the grocery stores so that should be an interesting one we got three people in already so it looks like these people already know how to get into the game so if you want to join the game you go to uh, kahoot.it and you enter in the pin that is on the screen which is seven two zero two eight seven nine so if you want to join in uh bob and i are going to take uh, turns reading the questions um uh, there's only 11 questions um one question that's going to be on here was not on Bob's live stream. I'll mention it right now. Uh, Bob and I are old enough to remember uh, back when uh, the baggers um, used to ask the question, uh, paper or plastic, uh, when they were bagging your food. So um, back in the day, um, it, was the, it, was, it was the paper bags were ruining the earth. Uh, and now it's the plastic bags that are ruining the earth. So uh, things have changed a little bit. Now you have to bring your own uh, special bags. Yeah, we we used to get the paper bags as a kid. That's what we used when we did coloring. So yeah. my parents didn't often buy paper for us. We yeah. just used the grocery bags. So. <laughs> yeah. So you still might hear it in movies. So if, you, if, if you're wondering what that meant, uh, then you learned it here. So Because uh, you won't hear it anymore. At least I don't think so. No. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think so. Although there are some stores going back to paper because paper is recyclable, but yeah. usually that's like a small shop or something like that. Right. So, so the superstore in Atlantic Canada, they're still using plastic bags, but I don't know if you probably don't have Sobeys out where you are. Uh, I think that's an Atlantic Canada one. Uh, they, yeah, we have Sobeys. Oh, okay. Yep. They've gone completely uh, uh, plastic. Like they don't allow plastic anymore. So. Um, yeah, so I think Sobeys is actually an Atlantic Canada um, company. So I'm a bit surprised that you have it. So yeah, I think they uh, they merged with a local store called Foodland, and I uh, think they're the same. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, we got a Foodland here too. Um, we don't have a Sam's Club. We only have Costco here. But I mean, yeah, we only have Costco. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, so we uh, we got four players in. Uh, we usually wait till we get about five to play, but we can start. Um, oh, there's five right there. Um, so let me just maximize this so it looks better. There, that's better. Uh, I think I got our videos in an area that's not going to cover up any yeah. uh, the questions or answers. I might have to move mine a little bit because the the it goes a little bit further over. I think you're right. okay, Bob. Uh, so I might have to move mine from time to time. So if everybody's ready, uh, I haven't looked in the chat. Um, uh, let me, I can't look at the chat anyways now that I have this maximized. So Bob will... Uh, uh, Edgard's here. Edgard Rambo is here. Edgard, yeah, okay. moderators. Yeah, Edgard and sure uh, I think Hainata might be in there. Renata might be in there. Yeah. Yeah, so okay, let's get started. 
Uh, let's see. So let's start the game. So I'll read off the first one, Bob, and then I'll let you know when to read the next one. Yeah, Bob, sounds good. Bob's live stream. That's what the title is called. <laughs> uh, in which section would you find uh, fruits and vegetables in? So would you find it in the uh, deli slash meat section or the produce section or the dairy section or the bakery? Uh, so... Um, yeah, so I put meat in there, Bob, because um, uh, most people over here in Atlantic Canada wouldn't call the deli. Uh, and right. actually, and actually, we don't call them sections; uh, we call them departments over here. Ah, so. yes, we do not use the word department. No, we either say area or section. Yeah, so that's a bit funny how uh, uh, different parts of Canada say different things, right? Yeah, yeah. So we got five answers are in. So it looks like we got more than five players now since the. Since it's still going, we have uh, 19 seconds left. There's usually a 20 second delay, so that's why I put 60 seconds on there. It gives people a chance to uh, yeah. uh, to answer. So around 40 seconds is when you start seeing the answers come in, uh, and it only goes between. I can only set it to 60 or 30. So if I put it to 30, that only gives people 10 seconds to answer. So I had to put it at 60. Oh yes. If it was 45, it would be better. Uh, so one person said deli and meat, and five people answered produce or produce. Uh, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Uh, I always argue that it's produce because I get people to spell it and then tell me how to say it. So, All right. Okay, so uh, here's the top five players. I'm not going to even uh, try to pronounce the first one. Or uh, hin hinat Hinta? Hinata? I don't know. And then Mike is in second. Hi is in third. Tony is in fourth, and Gina is in fifth place. Um, yeah, so you do get uh, more points for answering faster, too. So that's why all five people got them, well, five out of six people got it right, uh, but you can see a difference in score because they answered faster. Okay, so oh, yeah. at least none of the names are, are bad names, at least not that I know of. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next question. So, Bob, if you could read the next one. Yeah, so the next question is, in which section would you find beef and chicken in? Right. And the possibilities are produce, frozen, deli or meat, and health and beauty. Right. So uh, in which section would you find the beef and chicken in is the question. So we got, we're got we at 43 seconds. No answers are in. And we just hit the 40-second mark. So the answers should start rolling in here. There's one answer. Uh, so is it produce or produce, frozen? Meat or deli, uh, health and beauty. So six people got that one right with uh, the meat department. There so, you go. All right, perfect. Um, let's see. So, so we did have a movement on the top five. Uh, high. Nice. Jumped into second spot, where Mike moved down. So, um, looks like you guys still got the answers right uh, because all six players did get it right. Uh, but Mike, uh, Mike was not as fast on the trigger as High was. Uh, oh and... yeah, sorry about that, Mike. He dropped to third. <laughs> All right, next question: uh, In which section would you find ice cream in? In which section would you find ice cream in? Is it the frozen section, the produce section, the deli slash meat section, or the organic food? Which section would you find the ice cream in? I don't really get a whole lot in the ice in the uh, in in this ice cream section. Uh, we do buy a few things, like a few ice creams and uh, frozen pizzas. Uh, and I think I just gave away the answer, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the people! All, they all answer pretty quickly. Everyone's, yeah, so. everyone's clicked already. So yeah, that's so probably that's... not a big deal. <laughs> and these aren't these are difficult questions, anyways. As long as you were paying attention uh, and you know uh, the, the, all the department names, you should be able to get it right. So. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you do. You buy many frozen, frozen things, Bob. Uh, we d we do buy ice cream if it's on sale, um, and we do sometimes buy frozen pizzas if they are on sale. Yeah. Um, but generally, the only thing we buy is uh, like frozen vegetables, like frozen beans, frozen peas, those yeah. kinds of things. Yeah. Uh, I buy some frozen uh, fruits for making smoothies because I I just find it's I find they're better than just throwing ice in there. I find if they're actually frozen, they're better. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, so Hai jumped into first place, uh, and uh, Hin Hinata uh, is down to second place. Mike is in uh, third place. Tony and uh, Gina are still 
uh, fighting it out for uh, for fourth and fifth place. Uh, so remember, uh, the faster you answer, the more points you get. But you got to get nice. got to get it right. So don't don't be uh, don't click too quickly. So, nice work, hi. Yeah. First place so far. Yeah. Uh, if uh, if you're high, uh, like if that's your name, uh, let us know in the chat so we know who you are. Yeah. Someone in the chat says, "Can I have Hagen Dazs?" We don't buy Hagen Dazs <laughs> ice cream very often. Okay, Bob, you can read the next one. <laughs> yeah. So the next question is: In which section would you find sliced bread or baguettes in? Bakery section, canned goods section, dairy, or produce? Okay, we got one answer in already. 44 seconds left. Uh, my wife actually used to work in the bakery department, and uh, in the produce department, I used to supervise the produce department in um, in uh, in the warehouse. So. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, so we got a little bit of experience in there. Uh, so yeah, so all six people got it right at the bakery. So maybe the last two questions will be a bit more difficult uh, because these are just the uh, the first few questions are just. Um, uh, about the sections. Uh, so oh, yeah. Hi, looks like Hi has a streak of four correct answers in a row. So she or he is on fire. Uh, looks nice. like no movement between the other uh, the other top four. So let's move on to the next question. I like your next question. That's a good phrase. <laughs> yeah. In which section would you find adult beverages in? So I didn't know if maybe they knew what adult beverages were. So I thought I'd put it in there. Uh, is it spirits, uh, wine, beer, or all of the above? So it could be the spirit section, the wine section, or the beer section, or it could be all of the above. So which one would you find the adult beverages in? So we were under 40 seconds, and we got one answer in already. Uh, the other answers should start to flood in here. Uh, yeah, so they just started selling uh, adult beverages in superstores a year or two ago. Yeah. So one person got it right with uh, all of the above. Now, uh, you could argue that the other three answers are not wrong, but uh, uh, I would say all of the above would be the correct one. I can't pick four answers, so all of the above is correct. So only one person got that one right, so it's sh it'll be interesting to see where the leaderboard's gonna gonna be once I click the next button. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So only... in Ontario, you used to only be able to buy beer at the beer store. Yeah. So there was a. Yeah, and I remember I remember when I was younger, we took a a, a trip to uh, Quebec, and I was surprised that you could buy alcohol in the convenience stores. Yes, over there. Yeah, yeah. when I lived in Quebec, I was also surprised. Yeah, you could uh, just walk to the corner store. The year was 1999, and I was 19 years old. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, we took a road trip to Montreal. So it looks like only uh, somebody who was not in the top five got that one right, uh, Irina. Uh, jumps into fifth place because she got the answer right, or he got he or she got the answer right. Uh, combo breaker. Five players just dropped their answer streak of four. Ooh, I've never seen that before. Wow. Wow. So that was a tricky one. Okay. Question number six. Uh, it's my turn, right? No, it's your turn. Uh, no, I think it's my turn. Yeah, it's so question turn. six. In which aisle would you find cleaning supplies in? Health and beauty, canned goods, household, or dairy? Yeah, so I put aisle because we, it's not really a section because there's not yeah. sometimes sometimes the aisle is full of uh, of this stuff, but uh, I wouldn't call it a section. And usually the uh, I don't know about where you are in in the cleaning supply aisle. There's usually dog and cat stuff there too. In our oh aisles. yeah, that's in a that's in a slightly different spot for us usually. Yeah, like there's they they've started to have dedicated pet sections in some uh, of the grocery stores. So. Um, as uh, as a warehouse worker, um, as a supervisor at a warehouse worker, we weren't allowed to put any of the cleaning supplies above any food. So because when we're storing uh, it, just in case it leaked onto the food. Uh, so even right. the even the dog food, we weren't allowed to put dog food underneath the cleaning supplies. So just to be uh, health and safety conscious. Another thing you couldn't right. you couldn't put chicken above beef either, just in case the chicken would oh. would get down into the beef. Right. Interesting. Because yeah, then people get sick because of that. So yeah, you could oh, you could store beef on top of chicken, but not chicken on top of beef. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, lots of movement here. Okay, uh, Irina is in second place. Uh, streak of five correct answers in a row. 
Uh, Gina uh, jumps back into the fifth spot. Uh, we lost somebody in the top five. Uh, Tony is in fourth, and uh, Hinata is in... I wonder if that's Renata. Uh, is in uh, third spot. So let's move on to the next one. It's my turn to, to read, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, losing track here. Uh, question number seven. So we're almost done. I thought there was 11 questions. So I guess there's only 10. Uh, in which aisle would you find cookies and chips in? So, sometimes I try to avoid this aisle. Uh, is it a snack, uh, deli and meat, uh, beverage slash pop, or the produce or produce aisle? Which aisle would you find that in? So we got 40 seconds left. One answer is in. What aisle would that be in? And there is a lot. Like It fills the aisles up, this aisle. You know, when I was a kid, I think this section was very small, mm. and I think nowadays it's gigantic. It's yeah. an entire aisle at our grocery store. Right. It's usually chips and stuff on one side, pop on the other. Yeah, so five people did answer uh, correctly. It looks like we lost a player, because if five people answered and we had six players before, someone must have dropped out. So, uh, yeah, so five people got that one right. Uh, no movement on the top five, but Irina has a streak of six correct answers in a row still. So, uh, and only ten points out of first place. So, uh, we might have a uh, a new leader here soon. So, oh, well. yeah. Okay, uh, your turn to read there, Bob, or mine. Yeah. yeah. So, go ahead. Next question is: In which section would you find medicine and shampoo in uh, health and beauty? Dairy, household, or deli meat? So 44 seconds left with one answer in. So um, I don't know about the uh, the grocery stores in your area, but um, the household is a whole whole section, like in the back of the warehouse, uh, or not the warehouse, of the stores, um, where you can okay. buy like microwaves and, and stuff like that. To basically stuff yeah. for your house. Yeah. It depends. Some of our grocery stores have a pharmacy at the back, and then all of the shampoo, medicine stuff goes in that area. So. Ah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, health and beauty would be the correct answer. Of uh, five people did get the one right. Um, now uh, I don't know if I, I had mentioned this in your chat. I don't know if you saw it or not. Do you know why they put the dairy in the very back? Like you probably have your dairy in the back of your your stores, right? Yeah, it's always in the very back corner almost. Yeah, it's because it's a staple, which is what you mentioned in your live stream. And yeah. a, lot, a lot of people just go out to get the, the dairy products that they need. And they if they put it at the front of the store, they'd just be in and out. So they put that, oh, at, the, yeah. they put that at the back, uh, hoping that people will pick up extra stuff as they walk through the store. So That makes sense. Yeah, and actually yeah. someone in corporate told me that before. So I know it's true. They think about that stuff. Well, I do that. If I just have to run in to get milk... Yeah. I usually grab a couple other things. Yeah, exactly. I, I hate going in just to get milk because I got to go all the way to the very back and then all the way back up. So, right. Yeah. So, and we do drink a lot of milk here. So, I, I do have to do milk runs sometime. Okay. So, yes, we have a new uh, top player. Irina is in first place. Um, no other real movement in the other top four except for uh, Gina is making a comeback with three in a row. So that's nice. good, yeah. So I think this one's mine. What are the three most common ways to check out at a grocery store? The most common ways. Is it online checkout, checkout lane, which is the cashier, self-checkout. This one's going to take me a while to read. Uh, express checkout, a scan-and-go checkout, which is something I mentioned in your chat as well. Online checkout, uh, or is it checkout lane, express checkout, self-checkout, or is it scan-and-go self-checkout, and a five-finger discount. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't go over five-finger discount in my lesson. That's a, <laughs> it's not as common as, as you would think, but yeah. it does happen sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I actually, a lot of people don't like the self-checkouts, but I, I, I really like them because I find they're faster. Yes, if I don't have a lot of things, I sometimes do self-checkout, although yeah. the store I shop at regularly does not have self-checkout. Right. But. And we got 10 seconds left and only four answers in. People are having a hard time reading all this. Um, it's a lot. To, a lot yeah, to it is. Yeah. So scan and go checkouts, that's what Amazon was um, testing out a few years back, right? Where you just pick it off the shelf, put it in your basket, yeah. and you just walk out. and It charges you 
for what you what you pick out. So uh, the three most common are the checkout lane, which is the cashier, uh, express checkout, and the self checkout. So um, our express or sorry, yeah, our express checkouts are usually twelve items or less. Uh, I think you had mentioned ten, oh, yeah. eight to ten. I think is what you mentioned before. It really depends on the store. I know some stores it's twelve. Um, it's sometimes ten, sometimes eight. Um, yeah. In the store that I go to, um, often they'll call you over even if you have more items. Yeah, if they're not busy. You know, yeah. If they're not busy. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you read the last one. Oh, just hold on. Well, last question. Oh, no, no, we just hold on. One question. Just yeah, I'll hold give on. Me, on yeah, give me a second here. I, I, I mentioned, I forgot to mention the, uh, the scoreboard because there was a lot of movement here. Uh, oh, yeah. Three people moved up into the top three, so Irina actually dropped down to fourth spot from, from first. Uh, High is back on the board uh, in fifth place, uh, but Hinata is in uh, in first place again. Tony's in second, and Gina is in third. So we had a lot of movement. So this this last question, it's anybody's game right now. It is anybody's game. Um, I would say second and third can still uh, second, third, and fourth can still can still fight. Um, the, the fifth player is pretty far out of it now. I mean, there's 400 points, almost 400 yeah. points between them, so. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, last question. What question could you be asked by the bagger? Do you want fries with that? Would you like paper or plastic? On a scale of 1 to 10, how likely are you to recommend us? Or do you mind if I place you on hold for a moment? Yeah, so some of those you would definitely hear, but... Uh... <laughs> Some of them you definitely wouldn't hear, I should say. Yeah. So what would you be asked by the bagger? Um, now, superstores don't have baggers. Sometimes you'll have um, kids, uh, like on hockey teams, they'll come uh, Oh yeah. They'll come and bag your stuff for uh, like donations for their for their cause, yeah. right? So, But uh, we don't usually have baggers. Uh, the cashier usually is the one that bags the stuff. Uh, but if they're really busy, then, you know, we'll do it. So uh, some people are having issues. Yeah, so five people. It took them a while to answer that one. So five people got that one right. That was mentioned at the start of the live stream of my live stream, paper or plastic. Uh, it's something that used to be told a long time ago. Um, yeah. Uh, something that Bob and I would remember um, from way back. Uh, so paper used to be the, the, the bad thing for the environment, which it still is. Uh, but then plastic was the solution, but now plastic is, uh, is really bad. So let's see what the podium shows. So in third place, we got Tony. Uh, in second place, we got Gina. And in first place, we got Hinata. So, yeah. Congratulations. So, yeah, and the runners up are High and Irina. Uh, so they were in fourth and fifth place. So. Poor Irina dropped down from from first place up to down to fifth place, so I, I feel bad for for her. So that was good. So uh, yeah, that's the uh, the quiz, the Kahoot quiz for Bob's live stream. Um, so like I said, I will be doing a, um, a lesson on the supply chain and distribution of these uh, grocery stores, just so you have a better idea of how it works in Canada, uh, or at least to. Um, in my section of Canada because we actually shipped um, to uh, Atlantic Canada I think a few places Ontario uh, Newfoundland and there's actually an island uh, just off of Newfoundland that's owned by France that we used to ship to yes yeah oh yeah yeah we used yeah, to ship St. Saint- Pierre and McKillen are out yeah, there yeah St. Pierre yeah so we had St. Pierre was always uh, it was always difficult to get their orders because you have to get their order right because the, there's only one boat that goes there so Right. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, th- Bob, I, I do appreciate you uh, joining us on the live stream. Uh, I'm glad. No uh, I'm glad we got some people to come and play. Um, I know it wasn't. Uh, some of the questions weren't too difficult. Um, uh, some of the last couple ones were a little bit more difficult, uh, just because they're a little bit longer. But uh, uh, do you have anything you want to say before uh, before we no, go? No. Just it was fun being here. Thanks for popping into my live stream earlier. It's kind of fun to jump in here. Um, it's fun to see people. Uh, kind of uh, doing a quiz and kind of practicing some of the stuff either maybe they do or that they just learned so yeah. anyways thanks for having me Sean yeah well thanks Bob uh, so we'll end the live stream there and uh, um, yeah I want to thank everybody for stopping by and uh, I'll see you in the next one we do do uh, Cahoots uh, weekly 
Uh, I haven't been doing them lately because I've been busy, but we do do them weekly. So if you do, uh, if you did have fun playing Kahoot, uh, stay tuned for next week. We'll do.